gonna just make sure that I've got all my settings right. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Going for that good old sub hour 20. Fingers crossed that I can make it through the run without dying once. That would certainly be ideal. on the getting through the dialogue for Can Devil, actually, but I always want to play that bit safe so that way I don't accidentally pick Banshee. don't understand why live split is a little bit faster than IGT at least if you're using the like plug-in live split or whatever whatever it is I don't fully understand it for cassette beasts I'm afraid the races. Oh yeah, I'm also going to be trying something a little bit different in this run. extra monster so that way I can get another move from Malcomy. Because yeah. hey. I think I could maybe the specific other move take a couple fights maybe a little bit faster so definitely gonna be trying that hmm. I've never seen that happen before I've never seen the domino land on my head.
us. Sorry. Huh? Gotta remember. Well, for one thing, I don't. I gotta remember not to let this Carnivipe get me. text coming up, so I should not move my keyboard like I did yesterday. There we go. That's already a little bit of time save right there in the Morgante phase of this run. Feels like a very good time into the Morgante fight. I mean, there's not too much variability that can happen at this early stage of the game, but still, feels pretty solid. So, I'm convinced that in this fight, it's always set one Discordant Thrash is going to land, and then Kota Morgana is going to land, and it's impossible to die in that fight. Uh, yeah, that was a solid split. Very solid split. the text you skip button. It's very handy. Okay. Super fast early stage of the game. We love to see it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, now I need to do something that's a little bit extra. So if this split ends up being red by a little bit, this is why. I feel like this is gutsy to go for this on the first turn. Okay, traffic grab's gonna troll a little bit. We love to see it. Sorry. Okay, so now. use a little bit of a stronger move. Nice. 
Okay. probably going to make this split a minute behind or so. That's okay though. Cause also I can save time in the bolt time split. That capturing or recording that thing was a mess. I'm gonna need to probably play it a little bit safe though. Can you move? I just got owned by Dominoth just sitting in the street. Cool. Right. Alright. I do this fight, I do. I go up to the place. And then I go get what I know. menu and you hate to see it. Oh well. I am going to heal Can Devil though. I need Can Devil at full health for when I get to Bullet I know. Oh, what do you know? You can do that. I am well. <laughs> that saves a little bit of time. I don't think it's going to be much longer before I start trying to run an all-ranger captain's run. I really want to run that category. I also really want to do the Iante fight in a run setting. Like, I think that that would be super cool. You better not. Okay. This is a get the squirey out of the way situation. Squirey for trolling. Nice. Wow, I lost exactly a minute on that split to grabbing Carnivore. Brack suit. Um, let's get the Brack suit out of the way. Or at least get it weakened enough.
I am playing this super risky. Yes, let's go. Got it. That's big. Sweet. I'll just go back to the cafe, so that way also I can hmm. buy some more, um, what are they called? Rewinds, that's what they're called. Bonjour. Also, so that way I can do this stuff now. Toxic stab. Get echo on sirenade. And then fight the cultist with the Yorman Gold and get Babelith Warp. Alright, going pretty well so far. Best case scenario, call for help fails, like it did last time. Not banking on it though. Oh, it did, cool. Mm. I just realized I didn't, when I was doing the sticker menuing, I forgot to put Zephyr on uh, Sirenade. I need to do that immediately after this fight. I'm so glad that that move is very inaccurate. <laughs> We do a little mountain climbing. The all seers are aggressive right now.
Yeah, I'm not trusting that at all right now. Why did I do it like that? That was not, not the brightest move. Spookyonis giving me the creeps right now. Haley, please don't kick my already very sensitive electro block. Electro block. Please and thank you. Okay, spooky owners are fast in the overworld. What the heck? That scared me. Like, I thought I was going to be getting an encounter I probably would not have been able to run away from. Whew. Spooky owner jump scare. But got to the top of the mountain, nice and easy. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna fight this guy. I don't normally do this, but I'm curious about something. Curious if I do this fight, if I'm going to need to fight fewer um, wild encounters in the station coming up. Also, I think that this might be another character I can just beat out right before they get their second tape. Nope, not quite. Oh well. Bite Zephyr should be enough for one turn. Wait. Pretty quick fight. Alright, now I'm gonna do the... How is it that it goes? The Scale Evangelist fight, I think. And then... And then into the station. Pick up the rock. I don't know why the first time I uh, did a speedrun of this, there was a rock missing from around the, the station. I... I I have no idea why, but there were only four instead of five, so I had to find another rock. It was the strangest thing going. Okay, that's one way to do it. <laughs> I have never gotten up to this ridge like that before. I cannot believe that that never crossed my mind as an option. That's actually hilarious. Okay. hate it when the one box gets stuck on the button. That happened actually to me, I think, in my first run that I did. A 
onto this fight now, why not? We do a little XP grinding. I think because I went into an encounter as the button, or as the box landed on the button, I don't think I got, um, I don't think it counted as the button being pressed yet. <clears throat> that was strange though. Dang, not quite enough. I want to be going into the Popatox fight at around the 30 minute mark to be like close to on pace with my PB. Time for damage roll. No. Let's not use the wrong move. Oh well. Terra Cook is kind of chunky on the defensive side. fight that was like, there was a guaranteed Karna Viper in there. I'm level 13, but I'm not, I don't have fusion charged. That's actually not the worst thing that could be happening. I can get fusion charged pretty quickly in the actual battle. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta take Echo off of Sirenade, put damage roll on. Sticker, replace sticker with damage roll. Hang on, I am level thirteen, right? Okay. Just like, I I saved time somewhere, apparently. I, th I, I think. I shouldn't say that for sure. I should say, I think. Uh, uh... Who knows how this fight's gonna go. 
Angel Papa Talks, the master of puppets. I would like to get hit by something a little weak, though. At some point, so that way I can fuse. Seventeen. I'm gonna dodge again. Oh, uh, the fact that I can't fuse has me very worried about, um... Oh, never mind, I confused. Sweet. I was about to say, it's got me very worried about um, feedback coming up. Yeah, if I had gotten hit by that, that would have been really bad. <laughs> okay, I legitimately don't know why it took so long to charge fusion for this fight specifically. That was weird. Maybe I'm, like, misremembering part of how the run goes? I don't know. Apparently I saved over a minute that split somehow. I legitimately don't know how. I thought that that was one of my better splits from the run yesterday, but I don't know. <laughs> Put Echo back on there. Swap Bolt Ham onto Kaylee, so that way I've got Sirenade for Nowhere Monarch. Now, if I don't die to Nowhere Monarch, this split's gonna save a ton of time. I'm now sort of in the phase of the run where, like, an enormous amount of time save is. Also, depending on where I'm at, uh, XP wise on my can devil tape after the arc fight I might end up doing one more fight so that way I don't have to upgrade <clears throat> um, what's it called can devil What is something dinky that spawns in the mall? Maybe Dominoth? I don't think Maskatoy XP, or like, stat-wise is small. Uh, you know what? No. I'm gonna fight this Fawcettier that's right over here. Oh, hey, there's a Maskatoy. Wheel? Yeah. 
Oh, failed call for helps? This aren't already? Interesting. Nice, let's go. That was just enough. I'm gonna do the whole heal thing now. into any of the ghosts. I love the fact that when it cuts to that shot, you can see on the top floor the a poster of the Nowhere Monarch. I, I think that that's like a really cool bit of foreshadowing. Teleportation trick. <clears throat> what? Huh? Ah, uh. All right. Now let's see if I can't save like over five minutes on this split, or if I'm going to end up getting bodied by the king again. Archangel Nowhere Monarch, King of Nothing. I didn't put Toxic Stab on Malchemy. I was supposed to do that. That's the whole point of getting Carnaviper, was to put Toxic Stab on Malcomy so that way I could get Poison Chip at the start. Because Poison Chip is just so strong. But... As long as I can remember to do that for... Um, Morningstar? I'm chillin'. Nice, back to back 14s. I think I should be fine to damage roll one more turn and then heal. 19. Okay, that's pretty good. Nice. So I can just burn the uh, whole... Burn one of the turns of accuracy down. Nice. 
No, no, I'm gonna play this on the safer side. I was like, I'm gonna damage roll. I'm gonna play this aggressive. Let's focus on actually winning first try instead of getting cheesy. Another 19. Wow, I'm getting some good rolls this fight. I say that and then I get a 7. It could have been worse, I suppose. I probably should heal next turn. So that way I can elemental wall again. I would not have been healing uh, if that trick had given me bomb. That would have been just smack, and then he almost certainly trolls. Oh, that's not good. He is so low on HP, though. Okay, good. I did not get screwed over by confusion. He is so low on HP now that even if Malcomy and Sirenade were to get KO'd, it probably wouldn't cost the fight. Oh, come on. Not leeched. 10. Not quite enough. Thirteen. That should be enough. Nice. Okay. Good to know. You do not get an upgrade from... Um... From Nowhere Monarch on this seed. You get some very high quality Meredith voice lines huh. oh. from mashing through or from skipping the text in the speedrun. Huh. kind of cool. Um. Right. That was bad menuing, but oh well. Okay, so... What's Sirenade at? Sirenade is close. It might be worth it to do like one or two fights against... You know what? I'm gonna fight this person. Because I know that they're kind of a chump. The fact that they're a level 10 means probably won't be enough. Maybe one other fight? Okay, also this run I need to remember to open the <laughs> the station up on top of the hill. Oh yeah, wow, that was like no XP at all. I'm going to go out of my way to do a few extra fights because I would really like to have Decibel for a Morning Star. Just I think like having the extra bulk would be nice.
Sirenade's dead. Yep. Big oof. Nice, perfect. I'm gonna get Decibel. I'm gonna just remaster everything that I can here. <laughs> I know that's gonna be possibly useful in the long run. Let's not get beat up by the devil. Huh? At least the RNG devil. I call Morningstar the RNG devil because of that stupid tree that keeps poisoning me when I need it to heal. Very obnoxious when that happens. voice line is very high quality. Alright. Let's not throw to this fight. Let's do this thing. I might have messed up level wise. I'm. I should be fine. Sass block. Dang it. Mail bail. Nice shot, buddy. Dodge is an epic move, by the way. I'm gonna just say that right now. Oh, sweet, that was a healing apple. I should have used Toxic Stab. Alright, Strat here is smack the tree. Heal. 
Yeah, because I'm not going to survive a Thunder Blast. And then I need to do Toxic Stab again. Actually, I think I would have survived a Thunder Blast, but it would have been too close for comfort. Morningstar is taking a whole lot of HP off of themselves for me. Another elemental wall, heal, smack the tree sort of deal. We're gonna be sitting for a little bit, but... This, I think, is definitely a fight that's, like, dangerous to play aggressively. Now I think I Toxic Stab. Yeah, that was enough anyway. Just wanted to be sure that like, if it wasn't enough, that the Poison Chip would be enough. All right, this is going Pretty strong so far, don't want to jinx anything, worry, but sorry. I did not die to the two fights that I died to last time. Uh, uh, so as long as I don't, like, uber throw to Babelith, and don't die to the rogue fusions or, um, or to Al, which is honestly a possibility. That fight is frightening, and I play it uber aggro. Definitely a trick dodge fuse toxic stab kind of fight, I think. Trick dodge. Dodge is just so good. And I put Babelith to sleep again. Starting the thing off with a 20. Let's go. I got evasion up off the 20. Okay. This is on pace to be an absolutely disgusting Babelith. I don't even... Do I even wall the huge attack? No, I don't. My evasion's up, I toxic stab. Get the poison chip rolling again. And if I get hit, I get hit. It's not gonna kill. It's not gonna come even close. Now if I get a good enough roll... Oh no, you know what? I Toxic Stab here. Yeah. Thought so. I thought that was gonna be a guaranteed KO from there. That was... disgustingly good. I like didn't forget to do something, right? <laughs> because, uh... 
<laughs> that fight was kind of dummy thick. Now we get some very high quality Al voice lines. I might be back on New World after this whole scene sub hour. With losing a bunch of time in the Bulletino split to catch it, to recording a Carna Viper to get Toxic Stab. Just got the middle mouse button held down right now. Ready to skip all the text. Oh wait, I need to actually run now. Okay, cool. Good enough. If this split ends up getting a gold, then something goes nutty in the final boss because the first owl fight in the last run was gross like about as disgusting as that babelith fight that i just had okay I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think it has to be um, daytime for this. So just to be safe, I am going to change it to daytime. I know where I'm going. Hmm. I love flying up those stairs. It is, I don't think it's that hard. But it is so satisfying. That was an unintentional falling in the hole, but it paid off. King Nix. This fight's kind of obnoxious. Beast wall ritual. Very irritating stuff. You know what? I'm gonna use trick again. Let's see what happens. AP drain? There's Ritual. I'm gonna just throw Toxic Stab on now. I can multi-strike 
Zephyr. Now, which one is this gonna go at, I wonder? Okay. That was an efficient King Nyx fight, I think. At least, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But still, that was really solid. Oh, that sh movement, though. This fight. The music in this in this final station is so good. Uh oh. Dang it. Fortunately, it was just one Queenix, so I could just flee. I tried to get funny and snazzy. I should have just gone into the fight, especially since this is a 100% flea rate. One of these times I will get through this room without any encounters. But that, that run is not this run. The Queenix pushed the block, are you kidding me? Okay, I guess I do this fight. Whatever. This is gonna be a slow fight. This is gonna be time loss. Oh well. Might be a rewind on Decibel before. The fight against Smogtus. Yeah, definitely is, definitely is, definitely is. Okay, so note to self, probably for the next run, pick up smoke bombs. So that way this doesn't happen. Because that's like a minute of time lost to a fight that's, at least a minute of time lost to a fight that's completely unnecessary. You know what I could have done that probably would have sped things up quite a bit is I could have used fusion and then just because I'm gonna be running back to buy more rewinds and pair a few sealies before going into Al just for safety uh... anyway like I could have done that anyway <laughs> oh well poison oh that's actually really good Now I don't need to bother using Toxic Stab, I can just start damage rolling. Roll a 16 to start. Nice shot. 
and 18. Let's go. Yo, these these damage rolls are nutty right now. Fifteen. That I don't think kills the Fountas. Or chaos it rather. Oh, it does. Okay, that thing's kind of fragile. Okay. Nice, and we're not gonna have a level difference between the two characters, which is exactly how you want it. This is doable. Oh, I just got a really good Al fight again. Here we go. Final boss time. Oh, huh. what? I love the music for Al. Overworld theme is battle theme. So good. Red King of Conquest. Get that poison chip rolling. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, this is a heal turn. I'm not taking any chances. Yeah. I would have been fine, but I did not want to take that risk. I don't know if this, this is probably going to miss. Yep. Uh, why did I do that? Yeah. I should have waited until the accuracy down thing was over. Because I'm pretty sure that I... That the wall just crumbles here anyway. Yeah. Walls cannot take Archangel ults. for boosting my attack, dude. I wish I had multi-strike on right now. Oh well, 
I can just do that. That works just as well. That... That fight was a weird mixture of sloppy and really cracked. Like, there was one thing that I think I handled poorly, and the rest I think I handled very, very well. I wonder if this is, like, 115-able. Even with the goofy mistake with the Queen X. It still might be possible to grab a 115 off of. Okay, so if my theory is correct... Well, Malcolm's dead, so that's not good. That's not how that's supposed to go. Radiation Breath is a slow attack. Noted. Idiot. Meredith is out already. Nope, not item. Switch. Get Malcolm back in. Malcolm can probably survive whatever. Yeah, feedback. Yeah, okay. Please handle this the same. How I think you're supposed to. Sass block, dang it. Okay, so because I got KO'd, got something got offset. please. Thank you. <clears throat> Double poison wall and just hope that he doesn't use freaking radiation breath. Fight. Water dance. Perfect. I've got to end this quick, though. I should use Pustule Bomb. Actually, no. I think this is fine. Good job, Al. Thank you for undertowing yourself. Of course, I roll a three. He's so close to half. He's so close to half. Please, Poison Chip, put him at half. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, uh, this fight's gone so badly. Everything else in the run went just so well. Okay, um, air wall got taken off a of decibel. I, at least I think it's supposed to have air wall, so I don't know what happened there. Oh, well. Typical. 
This might be a 117XX. Maybe. Perchance. What? Why? Right. Yeah. Miles. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. He was able to ult there? Thank you. Oh, my. I was so worried that the confusion thing was going to cost a turn or two. Barely missed a 116. One seventeen oh five. I world record by almost nine minutes. Don't you forget about me, okay? Epic run, very, very happy with that. Um, the Aleph split was a train wreck, everything else was bonkin'. The future has always been ours for the taking. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm kind of frustrated with the little Queenix fight thing and then. The first Aleph fight went so well. And then Malcomy just got destroyed in the second one. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Gotta post this on the Discord. Okay, um, 115, I think's the next goal, maybe sub 115, I mean, okay, so it was four seconds, for some reason live split was four seconds faster, um, than the in-game timer, I don't know why that is, but some of best right now on live splits 113.01, so one, sub 113's on the table. Probably one with this route. Probably one ten, maybe even sub one ten. If um, if I have a better Al fight, and if oh no, wait, 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 no, 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 because I needed um, fight against Arkid and one other in the mall to get to uh, Decibel on time for that fight. Okay. Yeah, I think... I still think sub 115 and probably probably 110, maybe lower is possible on this route, but this was a really good run. Uh, I am very, very, very happy with that.
Um, all right. If any of you watching this are catching it over on my YouTube, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video. Um, make sure to hit like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And a lot more Cassette Beast content is going to be coming. More Any% percent runs, all Ranger Captains runs coming very soon, also bootleg hunts, all that good stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Once again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!